Hello, everyone. Uh, first thing first, uh, thank you for joining my session. Uh, I'm honored to have you here today. Uh, in this session, I'll talk about structured data. But before diving into this topic, let me introduce myself briefly. My name is Kenichi Suzuki. I'm from Japan. Have you ever been to Japan? I will be hosting the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo next year. We welcome you. Um, I'm a Google product expert of the official Webmaster Health Forum. Uh, I work for a company named Faber Company. The company provides a content marketing tool and heat map tool powered by AI. Uh, I've been writing articles on my SEO blog for 13 years. My blog is the most famous SEO blog in Japan. I'm not joking, it's true. <laughs> That's my brief introduction. Now let's get started. My session covers these three topics. First, I'll show you some case studies of rich results generated by structured data. Second, I'll explain the types of structured data for rich results, which are currently available. Third, I'll refer to the hidden benefits you can obtain from structured data. So, how many of you have already implemented structured data? Did any of you get any positive result? I'll show you some successful case studies of rich results. As you probably know, rich results are generated by structured data. First, Rakuten recipe. Rakuten recipe is one of the most popular recipe sites in Japan. They implemented structured data for recipe. The results were eye-opening. Traffic to all Rakuten recipe pages from Google search soared 2.7 times, and the average session duration was now 1.5 longer than before. As a Japanese techno geek, I'm proud of Rakuten Recipe's accomplishments. Next, Job Rapido. Job Rapido is a worldwide job search engine operating in nearly 60 countries. According to Google, the company's overall organic traffic grew by 150%. And they've seen a 270% increase in new user registrations from organic traffic. They also noted a 15% drop in bounce rate. These improvements were due to Google's new job search. Technically, job search is called job posting. Job posting is also called enriched search results because it's more visual and interactive than normal with results. Brainly is a Q&A forum for students. An ex-Googler, Mira Yatagan, is currently engaging a SEO for the site. According to him, the Q&A results achieved 15 to 25 higher click-through rate compared with normal search results. Do you know Google Dataset Search? It was launched last September, although it's still in beta. You can search statistic data such as the world's population or uh, the change in temperature in the UK. You can get your data included in Dataset Search by adding dataset to structure data on your pages. Thanks to Dataset Search, the academic site, PLOS, doubled the traffic from Google Search. As you can see, I've shown four successful case studies. I would not claim you can always achieve such outstanding results just because you implement structured data. But I'm sure you have witnessed the potentials of structured data to enhance your search performance. Google supports 
various types of structured data for rich results. I'll show you some examples. Articles with structured data can be displayed as top stories in the carousel. You also need AMP to get the articles displayed as top stories in the carousel. Look at the right screenshot. <coughs> Rating with stars has been around since the beginning. It was once called rich snippets, not rich results. If you offer products or services on your site, you can also show price and availability in rich results. I know of a case study where a travel site slightly increased its CTL after adding price in rich results. Rich results for events are helpful to those who are looking for fun activities. Look at the upper right screenshot. Breadcrumbs is also a kind of rich results that are displayed by marking up structured data. Look at the bottom right screenshot. Restaurant list shows multiple restaurants with a large thumbnail in a carousel. Specific structured data is required for restaurant lists. Structured data is also used in image search. <coughs> Pictures with structured data for recipe are given a badge. The badge indicates there's a recipe behind it. Users can now look at attractive photos, attractive photos of real food in image search and retrieve their recipe. Badges are also given to products. It said more shoppers are drawn to visuals to directly purchase the products. Users no longer use image search just to look at pictures for fun. Image search has now become one of the means for transactions. I'd like to introduce two new rich results that are currently in the experimental stage. I can guarantee Google will officially roll them out in the future. It's possible that Google may end them as a test. Anyway, let's take a look. The first one is how to. Apparently, Slack is participating in the pilot program for how to rich results. This is a search result from how to, create, how to create a slash command. The steps are displayed in the search result. When you tap, when you tap each heading, it expands into more details. The page has schema or how to add structured data. Structured data testing tool reveals it. How to is a superset of recipe. Recipe is applied solely to cooking, such as how to cook fish and chips or how to make tempura. On the other hand, how to covers wider ranges, such as how to fix a flat tire or how to wear a kimono. The second one is FAQ. It may seem similar to Q&A, but there are clear differences between them. With regard to Q&A, multiple questions on a page are not allowed. In other words, you have to use a single question per page. In addition, users must be able to submit answers. Uh, in general, Q&A results are designed for forum type sites such as Reddit and Stack Overflow. In contrast, FAQ, FAQ results can be implemented for content that has multiple questions on the same page. And uh, unlike Q&A, users don't or can't post questions or answers. 
the site owner creates questions and answers. Uh, for example, typical e-commerce sites has, have an FAQ page where are shipping rates and the delivery option, return policy, and other Q&As are provided together. FAQ results are designed for that kind of page. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> now you want to see what FAQ reach results are look like. They look like this. <laughs> Questions from FAQ are listed under the normal snippet. They are pulled from the same page. They are expandable, such as how to reach results. When you tap each question, the answer appears. This FAQ results example was extracted from Santry's website. Uh, Santry is a major food and beverage company from Japan. The company is especially famous for its whiskey and beer. I hear Santry's whiskey named Hibiki and Yamazaki are popular in the UK too. Santry is participating in the pilot program for FAQ results. With regard to FAQ results, schema of FAQ page is required as structured data. Uh, remember, FAQ and uh, how to are still experimental features, so there's no guarantee if or when they will become available. So maybe you're now wondering what structured data Google supports for rich results? How many rich results do you think are currently available? 10? 20? 30? Well, let's take a look. You can find all the rich results which Google currently supports at developer's site. I put the shortened URL on the upper right corner. Uh, do not access the page now. Check it after my session, please. You can, you can download my slides later. Is that okay? Nearly 30 results are available at the moment, and the number is expanding. You can also learn how to mark up this structured data from the documents. Now you know what structured data Google supports for rich results. I assume your next question should be, which structured data is suitable for my site or my page? Google gives you the answer on the help page. If you publish articles on your blog, article structured data is the right choice. If you sell physical products, you'll want to implement structured data for a product and review. On the other hand, breadcrumbs is suitable for any site. You can read the help article from the shortened URL in the center. Well, let me ask you a question. Why do you add structured data on your pages? Your answer is probably because I want to get rich results displayed in my results. You're right. But I would say rich results is not the real benefit you can get from structured data. There are hidden benefits from it other than rich results. What I'm going to tell now is endorsed by Gary Ilyich. Gary is a webmaster trends analyst at Google Zurich, so trust me. I had a lunch with him last November when he visited Japan. He loves my country, and moreover, tsukeme. <laughs> tsukeme is a kind of ramen noodles. I asked him about structured data while eating the noodles. <laughs> let's, dive into, let's dive into the secrets I got from Gary. Google supports all types and properties of schema org. Rich results are only a small part of the benefits 
you can obtain from structured data. There are mainly visual benefits. The critical role of structured data is to help Google understand your content better. Eventually, you can get more opportunities for high rankings. Therefore, add as much structured data as possible, even if it's not, if, even if it's not used for rich results. The downside of adding a lot of structured data is that it may slow down your pages. So I recommend adding structured data as long as it's closely related to your business. All right, I'd like to wrap up my session now. Here are key takeaways. Rich results, rich results have the potential to enhance such performance. As I've shown you successful case studies in the early part of this session. Choose wisely which structured data to implement. Find which results that can produce a positive impact. Add as much structured data as possible, and you'll get more opportunities to be visible in the search. Don't hesitate to add structured data, even if it's not used for rich results. All right, this is all for my session. You can download my slides from the link in the center. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of the talk. Thank you. <laughs>